Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North and this is a rather sad update on my chilli plants here and possibly one of my last updates because unfortunately it looks like that they are either dead or dying at the moment. So I'll start off with the worst one, that's the habanero chilli that I've got here. This was actually my oldest chilli, I grew it for three and a half years. And as you can see it's now finally died which is a real shame. This year it really hasn't been doing very well. It's never been a very healthy chilli anyway, never really produced many, a very heavy crop, but the chilies were really, really spicy. I think at one time it was one of the spiciest chilies in the world, but maybe about 10, 15 years ago, but they keep breeding new varieties. This variety was paper lantern variety, and it was incredibly hot. Um, as I say, it just never grew too well. It would often lose a lot of its leaves for no apparent reason. I never really figured out why that was. And this year you can only, you can see it only grew these very thin spindly bits of growth here. Uh, it never really grew much at all this year, it didn't do too well. It did have a, a very small chilli, you can see it's just there. Um, but generally it was a bad year for it. And for some reason it, it just kept getting um, weaker and weaker as the summer went on. And it had a really bad attacks by aphids. If I was maybe a bit more on top of the aphids it might have survived this year but it was getting old for a chilli plant. I mean, most people only grow chilies for about five or six months, so for three and a half years, I'm not too too uh, worried about that. But um, chilli plants are perennials, and it is possible to grow them for multiple years. But this one is the longest I've managed to grow a chilli plant for, and unfortunately, at three and a half years, that's it, finally died. But this other one here is doing a bit better, but it's also struggling, and I think this year I'm going to have to replace it. So this one is an Apache variety of chilli. This is Capsicum annum. This one over here was Capsicum chinense, which is a bit trickier to grow, and that's your habanero type ones. Your normal chilies though, that aren't habanero type are the Capsicum annum. That's also where you get your sweet chilies from. They generally grow a bit better and a bit easier to grow. They don't need as much heat as, or as light as a habanero chili. This one has been a fantastic chili for the first few years. This, this is two and a half years old now. Um, for the first two growing seasons, it did absolutely fantastically. It had so many chilies, I had to keep giving them away. It never got particularly big, the plant, but it also always had so many chilies. The chilies are quite small, only about that kind of size, but they are really hot. Not as hot as, a, as this one over here, but they're so hot that you only need one in a dish, and it is plenty of spice. So because of that, I was getting, I was struggling to eat them all. I was probably getting a chili a day at least from this plant throughout most of the year. It would slow down a bit in winter, but it would always crop quite well, even in winter time, even in uh, low light levels here in Scotland. And all I would do is cut it back every year and it would regrow. But for this year, unfortunately, for some reason, when I cut it back, it didn't really regrow. It seems to be obsessed with flowering now. I think it's really got to the stage where it's, it's at the end of its life. Instead of growing new leaves and stems, it just seems to grow loads of flower buds. And um, you can kind of see an example of this down here. You can see the, the, um, the stem there, it's just growing lots and lots of little tiny, like a few millimetres at a time it grows the stem and then puts out a new flower bud, uh, only puts out about two leaves every time. Same with these growths up here, the leaves are very small and when it does grow the leaves it only puts on about two millimetres of stem and then puts out a flower bud. So it's really not getting enough energy because it's not really growing many leaves anymore or stems, just loads of flowers, loads of chilies. So it's just petering out at the moment. Um, it's looking really sore, uh, sorry for itself. So I think if it doesn't survive this winter, I'm not going to be too surprised. And to be honest, I'll probably chuck this one anyway because it's this year hasn't been very productive. I've been getting probably two or three chilies a week, which which is not bad. But considering this used to give me a chili every day almost, it's really um, starting to suffer and I think I really need to plant a new plant, get it growing well again. And you can see it's grown quite a substantial trunk over the years. It is quite an elderly plant now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to plant a couple more chilies, uh, fresh from seed. I'm going to go with an Apache one again. Um, I don't actually know if this is Apache, but it fits the bill. Um, this came with a label that just said sp spicy small chili. Uh, didn't actually give any information, just had a little picture of a red chilli on it and said that it was a dwarf variety um, and that it had very small chilies. That's all I was told from the label. But I've looked up all the different varieties and this one follows very closely with an Apache variety. And that's The reason for that is the Apache is an F1 hybrid, it's a very strong uh, vigorous plant which this was when it was younger 
And the Apache is also good because it stays compact but gives out loads of crops of chilies and they're very small um, but they're very spicy. So I think this is an Apache. So I'm going to plant another one of these fresh from seed this winter. Hopefully get a good crop this summer. And I'm also going to try a Piri Piri type chili because that's very similar to this. Piri Piri chilies, the same again. Maybe a slightly larger plant. Um, chili is about the same size but the chilies are even spicier. They're very hot chilies. So hopefully that will do well. And I'll give you guys an update when I, when I get the seedlings to start planting them out. But for now, that's it for my chili plants. Um, this one's been hit really badly with aphids again this year. I've been keeping on top of it, but as I say, this is really, I don't think, unless it suddenly puts on loads of new growth, I think that's it for this chili. And unfortunately, this habanero one is definitely dead, so I'll have to get rid of that one. That's it for my chili updates. Hopefully I can give you some good news with some new plants coming soon. But otherwise, this is the end of my my two chilies and as I say this was two and a half years this has grown quite well for me and this was three and a half years